Zambia is rich in resources as it houses minerals such as copper, cobalt, gold, manganese, emerald, precious minerals just to mention a few which are largely mined in the country and fetch high on the international market, yet 60% of the country's population live in extreme poverty according to information obtained from the World Bank. While the mining sector is the largest earner of forex in the country, many communities where mining activities take place have remained underdeveloped while nearby land have been polluted, affecting vegetation and lives as is the case in Kabwe Township which has been classified as one of the most polluted towns in the world. And newly appointed Minister of Mines Pokawuswe says the mining sector is in a mess and needs urgent cleaning up by ensuring that corruption is rooted out of the sector. I think that corruption has messed up the mining sector. As I'm talking right now, all I can say is that the mining sector is in a mess. But I want to say this, that I and the team of directors and the peers and everybody in the Ministry of Mines we are going to work together, we are going to have zero tolerance to corruption, and we are going to make sure that it is rooted out because it has actually made Zambians not benefit from the mineral wealth that we've been given. The minister adds that it is an abomination for the Zambian people to remain in poverty while the country is endowed with so much resources. And it is when we benefit from these mines, that's when we are going to see that Zambians are actually owning the mineral wealth that they have. Today, when you go to the copper belt, the poverty, is, you can even smell it. You can smell the poverty. Yet we have a lot of wealth in terms of the, the, the minerals that we have as a country. While mineral value chain for suppliers on the copper belt alone is worth five billion United States dollars, the minister says local participation in the mining sector is the only way Zambian will benefit from it. It has since alleged that all mining activities at Dump Site and Black Mountain be suspended until further notice from the government. To bring sanity and order to the Dump Site, issues of the Black Mountain and all those things. There has to be sanity you, you realize that His Excellency the President during his campaigns, he had alluded to the fact that we need to promote, you know, small scale mining and the Black Mountains falls in that category. So for now, I think we need to sit down and bring sanity. There shouldn't be any activities for now until we bring sanity, we roll it out properly so that it benefits not only a few. Prudence Chota, reporting for Community TV News.